And I think that's really true. And I, I don't know, maybe in schools we need to teach children better, to be better uh, news consumers. Maybe that's one way to approach it. But that newspaper, when we used to get that newspaper, even if you didn't subscribe to a newspaper, you were affected by that newspaper because all your local TV stations and radio stations cribbed. They never, most of the time they never credited the newspapers, but they were stealing their stuff. And so now that we, we have newspapers, but they may not be doing those deeper stories, so where do you get them? So I would say if there are nonprofit journalism groups in your area, we have two in San Diego that do local news. And I would say contribute to them and read their work. And maybe spread the word among your friends. But really, I think modern life is pretty complex. And I don't, we're all moving at a very fast pace in our lives. And so how do you tell someone you have to sit down? I wonder. ProPublica, which I dearly love, are there people out there who are not journalists who wake up in the morning and say, I can't wait to read what ProPublica has to say because ProPublica's news is all bad news. It's all bad news. And because that's the mission, you know, they're not writing happy talk news. So the hu human nature, and if you were at a newspaper, even if you just went for the comics, you looked at the front page, and if the headline was good, the picture was good, you might stay and read that story. There was at least a chance. So I, you know, I know at the end of my day, we, we get in my house, we get the New York Times, we get the San Diego Union Tribune, my husband subscribes, to a bunch of magazines that I don't have the time to read. Um, we watch uh, CBS Evening News, which is actually, as a former TV critic, is really a pretty good newscast. It's, it's uh, better than the others. So, and there are so many things I also should be reading, but I'm tired at the end. And sometimes I wanna read a good book. <laughs> and so, I suspect that I'm not unusual. People who are working much harder than I am who are tired too, so I, I don't know. <laughs>